Gold digger is not a good word for it. Like man enjoy power and girls want a powerful man. Mm. And money is one of the languages of, pop, of mm. power. And uh, when a man is spending money for a girl, he's showing like, okay, I'm powerful, I can provide There's for There's nothing this. wrong with it. But here's the problem. In this day and age, they're providing for that woman, giving her that lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, but, 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 but there's there another thing back. which I, mm. I missed to say is like, uh, if the man is confident enough and uh, he won't let the gold digger to kick him. Yeah, if he knows yeah. how to spot them. Yeah, no, yeah if he, he knows doesn't how to need spot to spot them. Like, yeah. Okay, you, you, you can understand. You have these problems, okay, go. Yeah, Done. but a lot of men don't have that skill. Uh, Particularly as they get older. Because they don't, they, they don't yeah, have Yeah, as they get older and older, they're losing more and more confidence. But here's the problem, there's nothing wrong with being a gold digger. Just know the script. Just know yeah. that she's not going to be loyal to you. She's probably going to leave you when like, there's somebody what, else. What, what I go, use, no. I, I, I tell this every time. Like, for example, like, uh, I, I don't like my girlfriend to expect anything from me. Yeah. Like, I'm providing, mm. the place is mine, everything is mine. So she needs to care and uh, yeah. do this stuff. And uh, I even had this conversation once. Uh, she was talking about watches, like watches are blah, blah, blah. Mm. Then I said, okay, if I buy you a watch, I have the uh, capacity to buy 10 watches for 10 other girls. Mm -hmm. So you need to accept it and you need to sit in the house with 10 other girls. If you want to accept it, I buy you the watch and also I will bring 10 more girls. <laughs> if you don't, I, I, I owe nothing to you. Yeah. And you should not ever want anything from me. Mm -hmm. And uh, what all I'm doing is a favor to you. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's it. If well, the stay. thing is, I always say, like, if you pick a good girl and she's a good woman, mm -hmm. give her everything. If you've done the good processing, but if you yeah, don't yeah, but pick when, properly, when, when you want to. Yeah, when, when you want when to. When you want to. What, when it not feels when natural. you feel like they are going yeah, to. Yeah, but it. the problem men have is they don't pick well. When they see that she's behaving badly, to get her back, they spend more on her. So she's learning that That's I can treat him badly. Yeah, they're no, they're very weak. No, if, 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 a, if a man is doing that, he's weak. Super weak. But I've yeah. never met more weak people than rich men. They tend to be the weakest when it comes uh, to women. I don't know who you met. But Dubai, me. trust me. You, you know what? Here's what <laughs> men don't understand. Because with each other, they never admit it. With each other, they're never going to admit, oh, God, my, my girlfriend is cheating on me. Oh, God, my girlfriend wants a bag, otherwise she's going to leave me. They'll never admit it to each other. But because I, they come to me for therapy, I see the truth. The truth is they're usually, on the surface, it looks like they've got this beautiful girl who they take to restaurants. But behind the scenes, she's hitting him, she's taking yeah. things, she's cheating. It's a nonsense. <laughs> Yeah, the, the first thing that you need to do, you need to make sure that you don't pick a girl in Dubai. You pick a good girl. Yeah. Oh, no, no, Dubai, Dubai, Dubai is the right option. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have to forbidden. agree with that. Yeah, I Dubai have to agree forbidden. with that. Yeah. Like most of the girls in Dubai uh, are different. It's any major city, whether it's Miami, Dubai, anything where there's lots of money, um, it attracts yeah. the worst kind of women. And I mean, men are on their bad behavior, but here's what happens is because women learn that men are on bad behavior, they become sneaky. They become like, okay, I know he's up to something, so I'm just going to be with this guy for my rent, that guy for my bags, and this guy for holidays. They know what they're doing. And men are gullible, very naive, because they just have that ego. When you're a CEO, everybody listens to you, everybody submits to you, everybody tells you yes. So you assume that people listen to you and obey you. But, they're behind, but women are 10 steps ahead. It's a dangerous place. Yeah. It's a very dangerous yeah, they're place. they're smarter. They're, mm. they're they're very smart. They have a lot of time to think. <laughs> yeah, they have a lot of time to think. Plan, and I don't, think. I, don't see, I don't judge. I think if there's a guy dumb enough to believe that a 22-year-old is going to be loyal to a 53-year-old, that's his problem. Yeah, he, he, he deserves he's, it. He deserves it. He deserves she, it. And she deserves a payout for that behavior. And it's okay. Yeah. And it's okay. But they get deluded and think she's actually interested and she's loyal to him. Not at all. So it's your own fault. I don't blame the girl. Good for her. <laughs> yeah, enjoying, do you, yeah. if enjoying. you're stupid enough to believe that this girl who's half your age is beautiful is going to then be interested in you that's your own stupidity yeah. that's your own desire to be desired overtaking your intelligence that's your own fault yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah that's the problem but yeah. most of them if they are smart enough they will put some control systems yeah boundaries they'll <laughs> boundaries. put some boundaries on there then yeah. it will be fixed they won't have the option yeah they won't give them the option no way yeah but it's right yeah exactly mm. But uh, like physics, like when you are looking at things at quantum level, the rules are different. Mm -hmm. And you're thinking at normal, it's classic physics. When the uh, 
when we are at light speed, everything changes. Mm -hmm. So the definitions will be changed exactly like you said, but it's not bad. Mm -hmm, no. Like when, when you're at light speed, uh, rules of physics are not bad. They're no, different. They just change. Yeah, they're, they're, they are just changed. Mm -hmm. For example, when you are with your friends that you are doing only business, you are not mm -hmm. doing anything else yeah. with your friends. Mm -hmm. For no reason, it won't happen. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not bad. It's, it's okay. not a bad thing. It's That's why Dubai is great. Because what happens here is, unlike other cities, they're like, oh, he's only calling me because he wants to help with the deal. Or he's only calling me because he wants business. But here, it's like, of course I'm calling you for a reason. For sure. And you call me for a reason. We both add value to each other's life. Yeah. Whereas in other cultures, they see that as a bad thing. It's, here, it's how we get through life. I yeah. call you when I need something, you call me. Yeah. And it's equal exchange. Yeah. yeah. It's, we, we are always trading. We're all trading, all We're day. We're always trading every yeah. day. It's right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it was a nice one. Mm -hmm. Let's go to a hard one. Mm. There's no hard one. There's no hard one. We agree too much. <laughs> yeah. not, because you are saying like sense. Like yeah, I, I try not to lie. <laughs> I, always, I, I get a lot of hate online. Oh, she doesn't know. But if you listen to me, I'm actually just talking from... Okay. Yeah, so experience. for a woman to be successful, mm -hmm. uh, to reach certain levels, mostly they need to do certain things in order to get what they want. Uh, I want you to just talk about it. Like, is it good or bad? Because like... A uh, woman has like natural beauty and uh, they might use it. Yeah, as they a tool. leverage it. They, they can leverage mm -hmm. it for, uh, to, to get what they want. Mm -hmm. And they can also do some different things like most of the, most of them. Mm -hmm. Most of the women who are super successful that at least I've seen have done terrible, terrible things till they get to, the, to that level. Mm -hmm. And what's your idea on that? Well, I think it depends where she comes from. I think, you know, with women who do, you know, use their beauty to leverage it to kind of get themselves out of poverty, it's no different to a, a man that tends to crime to get out of poverty. There are men out there that live in certain areas and they live in certain conditions that they're just looking for a quick buck. So they might turn to drug dealing, they might turn to smoke, something illegal to get themselves out of it. Now, women, they're not risk takers like that. So what they'll do instead is the female equivalent is to use your beauty. So both of them are in hustle mode. That's why they're such a great match for each other. That's why you'll see a lot of guys, especially crypto guys, you know, they go, <laughs> they come, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm such a hater. It's just what I see in Dubai. You'll see the crypto no, guy crypto with the- Crypto guys are different. Like, yeah. Let's, 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 let, let me introduce myself. <laughs> <laughs> you're different, you're there, different. There are a lot of crypto guys who made money through some investments. Yeah. They, they bought something like for $1,000 and mm. it went to millions. Yeah, but we, we have a holding, we are creating, we have a marketing agency, we, we, are, we are doing some work and yeah. out of sales we are making money. Yeah. And uh, yeah, crypto is easy money. That's, easy that's, money. that's yeah. not the problem. So you, you, so, you so, is, easy. so is prostitution easy money? Yeah, it's the same kind of mentality, but no, different. It's, not. It's, it's, not, different. it's a different crypto, mentality. Crypto is easy money, uh, yeah. not like prostitution. I know, it's not like prostitution. <laughs> that's a bit of an exaggeration. <laughs> it's like, it's uh, a, but it's that risk it's taking. Like West, West World. Yeah. Like in America, long ago, when there was not enough regulation, it, it was easy money. Mm. There wasn't competition, it, nothing were regulated, mm. and you could uh, offer different things and people would pay for it. Mm. And uh, crypto nowadays is like that. Yeah, nowadays. It's, it's messy. And because mm. it's like uh, messy and like dangerous and like it feels risky, like gambling, risky, risky 